it's time to start the second episode of the bike service newbies series in the first lesson we were learning about how to use the tire levers and how to do without them in emergency cases because it's really worthy to have them these are cheap things and today the chain whip how to use it how not to use it and how to do without it let's see and so that you know what you're actually removing from your wheel this is the wheel this is the cassette okay this is the free hub body and this is the moving part that's what you need to know and the cassette when put on the free hub body it doesn't move against the free hub body and as you can see those individual sprockets you don't thread them onto the body you simply put them on like this and then after installing the last sprocket then the whole cassette will be kept in place with this lock ring and i showed you how it works because now when you're using the tool to remove the lock ring the cassette will spin with the lock ring with the free hub body holding on to the wheel doesn't do the job you need to hold the cassette and because this lock ring is being fastened quite firmly it's impossible to hold it with your palm and that's what we use the chain whip for the teeth of the cassette have been designed to work with the links of the chain this is why this chain with this arm will allow us to really comfortably use the tool and undo this lock ring i'm going to show you on the old wheel with really uh, hardly fastened uh, lock ring but this is just for you to see how it works now can you do some mistakes here yes believe me the first question you're going to ask yourself is where to put this chain actually so don't put this on the smallest or one of the smallest sprockets it is possible to do it like that but you have this length of the chain so that you can use it better on your cassette i saw some tutorials where people were using this uh, chain whip on the largest one i do not recommend it because in my opinion the chain can fall off the sprocket somewhere in the middle it doesn't have to be like fifth sixth seventh somewhere in the middle where you feel that the chain is actually nicely holding on to the cassette and the second error here is that maybe you're in rush and you do it like this so this part of the chain whip will go around one sprocket and this part will go anywhere else it's kind of okay for the steel uh, teeth but if you have alloy or titanium you can break some of the teeth so just make sure that the tool will actually go around one same sprocket like this the alternative for the chain whip is this tool it's not a whip but also a chain cassette tool and this one clearly states that you should be using it on the sprockets that have between 10 and 19 teeth just like that all right the old wheel the cassette is fastened really well Ta-da! Okay, you don't have a chain whip. How to make it? It's pretty obvious. I'm going to show you just one little thing afterwards. But if you don't have it and you somehow must do it on the road, this is the old chain. It's wrapped around the tire and the rim. There is no air in the tire because the chain will pull through the tire. So you don't want to do that and i have a lot of towel wrapped around the rim you don't want to damage it this is hack this is not made by book but if you need to do it somewhere this is the way to do it making this tool is very easy you have a piece of metal here you would have in order to grip uh, let's say the old inner tube you need three holes right here so you just drill those easy you don't even have to have this nice cut you can do it but the question is how to mount the chain on it okay we need this length of the chain for this part this side easy it's broken now 
But on this side, we need to do some hack. Go very slowly here because you don't want to push the pin all the way. Now I can open my chain and this is well made. Just remember that when you reuse the pin now, it won't be as strong as this one, for example. So just be careful with the tool. And now just as the example, I'm going to show you how this pin goes back in. Oh, this is strong enough. Oh. Okay. And the last newbie mistake is confusing the cassette with the freewheel. This is the freewheel. We don't use the chain whip for the removal. We can use it though for the installation. When you spin the sprockets and this side doesn't spin with them, this is not the cassette, it's the freewheel. The cassette will spin along with the lock ring. The cassette, the freewheel. We've got the tire levers, we've got the chain whip, and the next film will be about the tool for the SRAM cassette, Shimano cassette, and not only the cassette. The end.